Hello, I'm Nova C. I have one more Protoss vs. Protoss for you right now. This is against. Um, let's go Control N for names. Yes, it's against four letters. G T R R Z are his choice letters. I am Nova in the top right. Let's put that away. That's pretty distracting. He's bottom left, going for this interesting pylon position. Um, I would love to know that he's doing that if I was actually in the game. That usually suggests he's walling off or something stupid like that. Or he's awful, but uh, this is, I think this is High Diamond League, as I always am, because I never get, I never play enough in a row to get promoted. Really depressing life. Let's go. So, <laughs> so, so I'll stop complaining now. Um, yeah, he looks like he's going for some aggression. There's a gateway there. Avoiding suspicion, but here's an extra gateway down at my third. This is my natural. Easy to confuse this with my natural, but absolutely not. It's not my natural at all. I have gone for two gases. Um, not a very cheesy play, but it looks like he is going to go for that. That's delicious cheese. The most delicious of varieties. Um, two gateways, which is fair. It looks like he's got position for another one. There we go. Um, three gateways. Hmm. Could there be a fourth? Very unlikely because I don't think he can afford it so early. But it's it's going to be some cheese, some cheddar. Um, there's the side of course. This is a full wall off. Um, I, I, the idea behind this obviously is all of his army is going to be over here, so he's going to have nothing to defend him. So nice to have something to block me off. Um, it's going to be very good against. Stalkers, because Stalkers are going to take a while to do, kill that, so I'm not going to be able to walk in and snipe his probes. But it's especially good against um, Adepts, because they deal plus light damage, not plus armoured damage. So Cronium boosting straight out some Zealots. I've gone for an expansion, doesn't look very good for me. <laughs> oh shit! Um, I even delayed this first unit, so that's pretty bad. And I've delayed Warp Gate and my Mothership Core. Oh god. It's, it's just the way this build works, it's not delayed in the sense is I've done it wrong, but this is just how this build works. I get a slight delay on everything to get the expansion out. And then I chronos boost out the warp gate so I have um, it ready for anything too aggressive. But nothing this aggressive. He's actually gone for four gateways. Oh shit. He's not actually making anything out of this. Wow, okay. I guess that sort of makes sense, I'm not sure. Um Adept comes out just to see what's going on, walking past the the disaster which is about to happen. Um, I have a Moshit Call, that's going to be really good, and, clever, I do have that pile on there. I'm not supposed to be used this early, it's supposed to be used to stop um, aggression a bit later in the game. Pressuring my seconds, my natural once that's set up, but no. This is a shit ton of units very early. Adept walks in, oh dear, he's walled off. I see something special, something weird's going to happen here, but I'm going to... Looks like I'm going to try and work down that nexus, that pylon. And I walked in, I was not expecting that at all. I get the first never charge off, which is nice. So that's going to kill off a zealot, but he does kill my um, mothership core. He probably could have pressured a bit more, but I guess he doesn't want to risk it. Did he see that I have a natural? He didn't see that I have a natural, so I could have had more units up. Um, if he just charged in, that might not have been a good idea. It would have been very useful to have the scouting information that I take in that base, in which case probably could have ended the game there, but he looks like he's going to do it anyway. I'm going to attack with all my probes because I have no other option. I need to bide some time for me to get my adept out, my other adept to come home. And I'm going to be killing- <laughs> actually surrounding a stalker. Really nice, he's not microing well at all. I actually killed two stalkers there, um, but he's going to do still a lot of damage. Um, attacking with my adept. Adept's not doing too bad against stalkers. They, they sound like they're going to be awful against stalkers, but because the stalkers don't deal extra damage to them either. They sort of they sort of trade okay. Um, definitely stalkers are what I'm going to want though, because um, they're good against anything <laughs> really. Extra stalkers coming in now, so I have my adepts for a buffer for my stalkers. He's pushing on in. He just doesn't really have that much. Um, he only has one extra stalker on me now, and he's attacking into probes. Um, if we look at units. He's actually behind in probes, and the first never charge is going to clean that shit up. Oh dear. But units now favouring him slightly. A two probe lead isn't really what you want from this build. Uh, he's going to have to expand ASAPly, getting the extra gas in. Um, two stalkers, extra zealot. Uh, I'm not going to have. Um, I've got Twilight Council making warp, um, blink. I think that's been going for a long time. I started that during the aggression, because I knew that I'd need something 
to break out of my base because it's very easy for him to sort of contain me with stalkers and things and that sort this uh, stalkers and sentries and things at this point. Though I haven't really seen that for a while, to be fair. It's the most annoying thing to happen to you when you get pinned in by sentries and go units. But now we have similar numbers of units, so I don't really want to commit here. Can I see it there? I just want to really just pick off units where I can. Not commit too much. Very close to losing that adept by charging him in, having him, um, what's, what's the word? Transfer. Transfer into the middle of the army. Now adding on extra workers. I kept on about on about 18 workers for quite a while because I had a stockpile of gas and I knew that he couldn't have more than 16 workers mining. So I just wanted to be slightly ahead of him. Um, so that I'd work up a lead over time, but then just keep making units. But now he's at last gone for an expansion, I need to start making extra units. And I already have, which is lucky. As soon as I had Blink, I have Blink, don't I? Yes, as soon as I had Blink, they started producing units a lot faster. A lot faster rates. In fact, Crony boosting both next eye. And I could be putting on more pressure here than I am. Probably could be poking down. Um, very smart moving in, in this sort of surround area, this sort of surround here. Gonna try and um, surround me with zealots, and that's gonna hurt my stalkers quite a lot. So let's do a lot of damage. Ooh, crap. <laughs> Killing off one unit there, and then blinking out. Took a lot of damage on those stalkers, but nothing died, which is really useful. Um, Oracle coming from from my opponents, then following up for Void Ray. Expatching coming on in. Does he have workers? No, he's not making workers. Interestingly, cut probes. So I'm now 10 ahead, which is a massive lead actually, which is really bad for him. Um, he's going to get some, needs to get some serious damage done. With this, his is this here Oracle. Going to zoom in on him. It took me a few seconds, which made that a bit clunky. <laughs> it took me a few seconds to realise what the hotkey for this to do this was. I'm just going to zoom in and out for a while to make it worthwhile. Meanwhile, an attack is coming. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep pressurizing here and try and pick off an odd unit, but this oracle, this is the game changer possibly. Blink is on cooldown sadly, and I wasn't able to quite sc snipe that. Is he going to kill more stuff? He does have lots of energy here, so he probably could have killed some more probes. Sadly he didn't. Sadly for him anyway. Um, unit's coming up to my third. Maybe he's waiting for me to move out and then go for a counter attack, which is quite a nice thing to do I guess. He needs to pull some stunt here because he's way behind in workers. Um, not as much as before. He did kill a few off, so now he's not 10 behind anymore, but still big advantage to me. Um, pile on overcharge, killing those guys off. Killing that Oracle at last. Not sure if it paid for itself. Let's look at the workers killed. 17 down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Probably killed a lot of that during the Stalker attack though at the beginning. The 8 way unit attack. And I can follow him, and I have Blink. And I'm going to kill all of these gateway units. What does he have back home? A Void Ray. Stalkers. I almost have enough to kill him off now. I don't know if no... Um, prismatic alignment's going to be very good against these Stalkers, so I don't really want to commit into here. He probably just barely has enough to keep in the game here. <laughs> oh, Prismatic alignment. All oh, that damage. Killing a Stalker off pretty instantly, though. So I don't really want to push in here, but I'm happy containing him. Three stalkers. He's just committing two stalkers at a time, um, two stargates at a time, um, making void rays now. But he's really behind on economy. Units. Oh dear. About ten behind again. Still killing off stalkers. I really don't want to be pushing up there. <laughs> void ray is very good against stalkers. Annoyingly, I knew it needs some backup for those guys. Immortals coming in. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm adding on an extra one. And I see a, mass a big commitment to Void Rays. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I think it's because I don't have any gateways. Yes. I'm making Immortals because I literally can't make anything else. I'm adding on gateways to fix that. Three more gateways and a Templar Archives. So I know what the correct response is. I'm not being stupid at making Immortals to cancel Void Rays. I have just made Immortals because I can. And they're going to be good against this Grand Army. And if I kill the ground army, then my stalkers again definitely do a lot better, so I might as well be making more swords with them in this time. It's not like they're not going to be useful later. I'm working on my... how many do I have? That's my third immortal. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Adding more stalkers, that's what I want to be doing. There we go. Extra gateways. 
And I got my Templar Archives. Yes, this is gonna keep me in the game. If I don't make this Templar Archives, then he's just gonna roll over me with Void Rays and call my Stalkers. And that's not gonna be fun. Easy to make the mistake of thinking, I have enough Stalkers, I'm gonna be able to kill these Void Rays Stalkers. Do additional damage to Void Rays, but then Void Rays scale up so much better than Stalkers. You need that splash damage or you're gonna get rolled. Just got Blink. Um, no intention of getting Adeptal Zarts in this game. Just gonna go for that big anti-air army, gateway anti-air army there, so um, Stalker's High Templar. Probably gonna add some Archons in. I'm just gonna poke up and see what he's got, so he needs to confirm that he's taking the third, yes. Um, if he wasn't taking the third, I'd want to be in full defense mode because he's gonna roll in. But yeah, I do see that he's gonna take that. Gonna try and sneak a pile on. Oh, pile on overcharge. Killing a Stalker of mine, that's very sloppy by me. Um, not the end of the world though. I do want to keep these guys at the front, just to slow his push, and see when it's coming. Um, observe at the front, so that's also going to see when pushes come. And what else are we getting? Storm's almost finished. Plus two weapons, nice. Seeing as he's gone for air, you might as well get cannons in the mineral lines, because it just seems silly just losing, just risking losing the whole mineral line to the um, oracles later in the game. Still on two Stargates, is he adding on another one? That's a Forge, Twilight Council. Okay, so he's adding on the Void Rays for his army first. It doesn't look like he's committing completely to air. He's, he would be adding on like a Fleet Beacon now if he was committing heavily to air now. But he's going to go into a more, a slightly more standard build. Lots of Void Rays to begin with to deal with the Stalkers that I has. And now he sees that I'm going to be, well, I don't think he's seen, but he suspects I'm going to be making things other than Stalkers now. Um, he's adding on a more rounded composition even getting upgrades, even though he is quite a bit behind. I'm almost finishing my second upgrade on the ground arm, on the ground weapons. Two more gateways. I'm going to need so many gateways here. Um, I'm not actually adding in any robot, robot robotics units other than just observers and things. I've stopped my immortal production. I'm going to need a hell of a lot of gateways here. Um, three bases are mining pretty happily, plus this one, which is mining out. So I'm going to need, like, a lot of gateways. <laughs> um, Two more, two more coming in for him, two there. We're just gonna spam them soon because my money is gonna get start getting quite high as it is quite now. Uh, but I'm pushing in. I've got my storm ready. And I've got a couple archons. That's all I really need, isn't it? And um, yeah, he's got quite a few void rays though. And I'm definitely gonna struggle to push up a ramp when he has this many void rays because he's all of his units can be attacking at the same time. Might have gonna struggle to be attacking. It's gonna be tough, especially if he does a nice spread of his void rays. Still at the front, um, so that's pretty useless. <laughs> so yeah, he's just he's just checking, using that to check when he's being attacked, I guess. But then he just wasted it for no reason, which is sad. Um, currently boosting on the forge, but no upgrades coming. Interestingly enough, adding on more voter rays, he's getting quite scared now. Here comes the fleet beacon. Okay, um, forget that I said that. He's going to commit heavily to air now. Um, and he's oh, and he's getting upgrades as well. Sadly, uh, the armor for air units isn't actually that important because what I'm going to be killing the air units is, is with the storm and armor doesn't help against that. He moves on in, his units clump a little bit, and storms everywhere. Um, and I have a lot of stalkers as well. So I had the better composition and more army here. Oh dear, oh dear, that was that was that was shame. Go, <laughs> go, grandmasters! Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Did a nice little, did a nice little cheese at the at the start. I don't know. He didn't need to attack there. I think um, it was definitely a mistake attacking because I wouldn't have been able to push up the ramp. Um, I feel like, I feel like, he could have been a bit greedier in his expansion taking. Probably this could have been earlier. Definitely this gas could have been earlier, and committed to air. Maybe pushed that when he had tempests instead of void rays. Um, maybe go for sort of some sort of warp prism. Oh, that's really hard for him to put pressure on. It'd be very nice for him to harass me, but that's a very hard thing to do. Maybe more oracles. But then I had cannons. Um, yes, definitely, I'd say, other expansions, greedier expansions, um, more committal to air, not pushing out, and then go out with tempests eventually, because I didn't have anything to do with tempests. Um, did I have? No, nope, didn't have a stargate or anything. Yeah, that would definitely have been the way for him to go forward, but yeah. Dodgy little push out there. 
<laughs> but then I just had more economy, so why am I overanalyzing this? <laughs> if you enjoyed that game, I will see you later. Goodbye.